There's like literally so much to learn when you start YouTube and I mean not even when you start YouTube but when you get new equipment. I just spent like the better part of an hour, in fact I think it was like an hour and a half, maybe even two hours, waiting for my battery to charge because I didn't charge it up. I need to go and get a new battery. Anyway. Welcome to Yenna Beauty, my name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and if you're not rocking these cat ears I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm joking, I'm joking, come and fight me. Seriously. Oh, what a morning. I literally only just put this makeup on so I could take it off because today I want to talk to you guys about two products. I want to do a side-by-side -side with the Simple Cleansing Oil, yeah, Hydrating Cleansing Oil, and the Body Shop Chamomile Scrumptious Cleansing Butter. Um, please excuse the band-aid on my finger. I had a fight with a poorly made whisk. So, hand whisk that is, you know, one of those... Uh, I was trying to fluff up my mashed potatoes, so mm, go me. I lost. So anyway, look, um, I know these two products seem different. Um, the thing is, is that I knew how I felt the first time I tried this oil, and I know how I felt the first time I tried this cleansing balm. And um, yeah, although this is a balm and this is an oil, this balm turns into an oil once you put it in your fingers. And um, if you're interested in knowing more about this, stay tuned. Alright, so let me give you a little bit of information first. Um, like I said, we're doing the Body Shop versus the simple, kind of skin sensitive skin experts, blah blah blah. Anyway, um, I want to give you a bit of background information. So let's have a little bit of read of this one. This is a simple sensitive skin experts, kind of skin, hydrating cleansing oil. Removes makeup, it's non greasy residue, no artificial perfumes or colour, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin. And I've got to say that it, it definitely does what it says that it does. It doesn't smell like anything, it um, doesn't leave a sticky, oily residue of any type on your skin. It does and irritate my skin um, yeah so I believe that uh, this 125 ml bottle I believe is about ten dollars 9.95 you know whatever um, at Priceline and most other places and um, I've used this for quite a while but I thought I'm getting quite low I'm up to here and I thought I want to try something different I know what this is like but I wanted to try something different and um, I don't like using my cellar waters or anything like that because I have dry sensitive skin and I find that oils and you know balms in general are better for me, um, even better than foams and stuff like that. So I thought this time I'd go with a butter or really a balm because um, the only thing I don't like about the oils is that it's a little bit messy. You've got to pour it out and then it's trying to run down your arm before you get it on your face. So I thought, well, if I went out and got a butter or a balm or something like that, that pretty much essentially turns into an oil, I can scoop it out, and by the time I've massaged it into my hands, it's ready to go onto my face and it's not going to be pouring down my arms. Um, <laughs> so that's why I went to the body shop, I raced down there. This is a 90ml um, container and it costs $25 for this tub. Um, so I want to repeat again, this is $25 for 90 mils, $10 for 125 mils. Um, and you can pick this up at pretty much any pharmacy um, that I'm aware of. So I'll give you a little bit of a read of the Body Shop Chamomile Scrumptious Cleansing Butter. It says that it is calming, it has calming chamomile extract from Norfolk, England, suitable for sensitive skin. Cleanse and nourish your skin with our rich cleansing butter, a luxurious way to remove every last trace of makeup while purifying, cleansing and refreshing your skin, leaving it soft to the touch. It's vegetarian and cruelty free. So it's got a pretty good rating. Um, that's one of the reasons why I purchased it because I watched a lot of other YouTube videos and um, yes, I watch YouTube myself and um, a lot of people were banging on about it saying it was really fantastic. So I thought, well, like I said, I already know what this is like. I wanted to try something else, something that wasn't gonna run down my arm and this was the next best thing that I had found um, that was easily accessible for me to get. So I picked this bad boy up and yesterday I had a full face of makeup on. It was all purples and you know, just trying out a few things from my ColourPop range and um, I decided to go in with this and give it a go. And um, I didn't actually take any footage of that. Um, I'm hoping to catch some footage of me taking off this, maybe do a side by side, probably this way, side by side. Um, and if I get that, I will definitely um, show you in the video. But um, I'll give you a bit of an explanation on how this one works. So what I would generally do is um, I would I'd not wet my face or anything. I would just pour some of this in, 
quickly rub it in my hands, put it on my face and it would melt most of my makeup off and then I would turn on the water and I would just put a tiny, tiny bit of water on my hands and then rub it together, put it on my face and it emulsifies and turns into a milk and then I would rinse my face and everything would come off, um, you know, mascara, liquid lipsticks, everything would come off. I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't need to use a face washer or anything like that, it would just all melt off. Um, I always go in with a second cleaner, it's usually like a cream cleanser, cleaner or something like that, but that's just to make sure that I got off anything. Um, and usually there's really nothing left over, so this one generally does a pretty darn good job, and the only thing that I dislike about it is the fact that it pours down my hand if I'm not quick enough. So that's how this one works. This one here, a little bit different, you'll scoop off your um, product, you'll rub it in your hand, plenty of time to get it on your face so it doesn't pour down your hand so that's a bonus there. You rub it all over your face and it's not like this one here, it doesn't emulsify and um, I already tested it out, it doesn't emulsify and then so when I used the same method and poured it over my, uh, pour, put water over my face and tried to wash, um, although it would look like it was breaking down just as much makeup as this one here, what I found is, is once I started rinsing it with water, it actually hadn't broken down most of my mascara or my liquid lipstick. I was left with stained lips and um, so I ended up having to do um, three cleansers essentially. I had to um, go in with this twice and then I went in with my cream cleanser um, and even after that I went in with my toner after that and I was still finding tiny traces. So um, I went back and I watched YouTube and I figured out that anybody who was using this that I watched um, was actually putting it on their faces and melting all of the product like normal and then running warm water with a face washer and then wiping it all off. And from what I could see with all of them, that was working. But I didn't need to do that with this, which to me defines this as superior product to the butter or balm or whatever it is. Um, I don't want to have to go in with a face washer, a warm face washer and wipe the product off. Not when I can just emulsify it and it all just melts off over the sink and I'm not left with stained face washes or any sort of excess rubbing to irritate my skin or anything like that. So although I think this product probably could be good and probably does work with the face washes from what I've seen and I will definitely keep on trying with this product. If I was to say first impressions, because I remember the first time I used this and I was blown away and the first time I used this was yesterday and this definitely stands out. Um, the other thing is, is with this one here, I will vigorously rub into my, uh, around my eyes, in over my eyes and everything like that, and um, for the most part, I don't get any in my eyes, but if I do get a little bit in my eyes when I'm washing it out with water, there may be a tiny, tiny bit of blurry vision, like it doesn't hurt or anything, it's just like a little bit blurry. Um, with this one here, I didn't actually get any in my eyes, not that I was aware of, and if I did, it didn't affect me, but I did get some in my mouth, and it tastes like... It tastes like shit, um, and yeah, it does have a slight scent to it. Not that that affected me, though I had no irritation or anything like that. So while I do enjoy the scent, it's nice, it's subtle, um, doesn't smell like chamomile though. I don't know what it smells like. Um, not chamomile, it kind of smells like a muted dove moisturiser, I guess. Um, yeah, if you do get it in your mouth, you will taste it. So I guess that was a bit of a downside with that one. Um, but also the downside with this one is there's a slight blurry vision. Um, in saying that, I've tested this against quite a lot of other cleaners. I've tested this against the um, Neutrogena Eye Remover, which is fantastic. But this still much better. Um, so yeah, um, if I have any footage, I will definitely put it in here of me using both of them. And... Um, we shall see how we go. I'm going to go and take this off now and I'm hoping that I actually get the footage that I can show you. Um, I might actually do it right here so I might get a bowl of warm water and see whether I can actually show you guys working here and um, if not maybe I can get some photos instead so we shall see. Alright guys, I've got a big massive bowl of water here and I'm probably going to make like an epic mess. Oh gosh, alright. Um, flick my hair back, fix this up. Alright, so this is obviously not as easy as doing it in my bathroom, but my bathroom's tiny. So, um, what we're going to do is, is I'm going to use the Body Shop um, Balm Butter, whatever, on uh, this side here, and I'm going to use the Simple Oil on this side here. And um, let's see if I get the same effect as yesterday, so... We shall see. So to start off with, I'm just going to 
scrape, you know, a reasonable amount. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just going to emulsify that on my hands. Oh, one side. All right, this is not easy. <laughs> so, just on one side. I need my mirror, guys, sorry. Well, focus, focus mainly around the eyes because that's where most of the um, stuff is on and that's where this product had most of the trouble um, working, to be honest with you. Going over the line just a little bit, but you know. The product in question is the side that I'm doing right now. So let's get that eyebrow. Let's try to definitely make sure that we get that mascara. So as you can see, it's definitely breaking down the product. And I probably wouldn't normally rub so firm if I wasn't doing this video, but I definitely want to give it a chance for you guys. Um, especially since it's not a, like, a massive rave review. Alright, so... Remember I told you that before, like, if you get it in your eyes, it may not be blurring? I'm actually going to take that back because I do have a slight bit of blurring in this eye. So, no different to the oil. Alright, alright, alright. So, that's that side. Now, I'm going to put my hand in water just to show you that it doesn't emulsify. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, yeah, not really anyway. It's, uh... If it does, it's very, very gradual and doesn't really do anything about it. But, I mean, I'm going to show you both sides in a minute anyway. So, now, let me just put that one away. Do this other side very, very quickly because I don't want this stuff to sort of set. I mean, I'm not saying that it will set, but anyway, whatever. All right, so a bit of this on the hand. Oh, slap her on. And I'm actually just going to swap hands. All right. So, massaging this in, just like the other one, over the lips. Gotta say that um, the lipstick has come off easier this time, but in saying that, yesterday I was wearing a, um, a liquid lipstick, today I was wearing Colourpop's Lumi Lippy Stick, so um, it doesn't really have to remove much. It's going to be um, all in the eyes, to be honest with you, whether there's still mascara underneath my eyes um, when we're finished. Give it a good old rub, fair chance, just like the other one. Alright, now, i just clean my hands off so there's nothing on both sides. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to splash my face with water. Um, and try and wash it off now because I know this side definitely emulsifies and I'm not quite sure about this side. I'll show you. I'm going to wet both hands equally and then I'm going to try and emulsify both sides. So, I'll bring this a little bit closer. Alright, here we go. Can you see? Alright. I'm going to take it back. Alright. That's normally pretty much what I would do. And then here comes the fun part. And I don't know if I'm going to catch this on film. Ugh, this is so messy. I apologise, guys, if this looks really, really grubby. But I'm sorry. But this is what I would normally do. I don't even sure if I'm going to be able to get this in the shot. So... I mean, I'm sure a face washer would be a lot easier. I'm sure. But I would normally like to do this in the shower, so it's just cleaner. I've got enough washing to do, to be honest with you. Alright, I definitely got water everywhere. And I'm currently blind, so I'm not going to wipe, I'm just going to dab. definitely a lot harder to do this on camera than it does in your own bathroom. Now, I definitely gave both sides a fair go. And today, 
This body shop one's done a pretty good job. <laughs> it's almost making a liar out of me. I freaking hate that. Well, anyway, look, we're not done yet because I, um, I have brought some wipes and I should go and get my toner. Now guys, I have my toner in this little spray bottle because I'm lazy <laughs> and I will either usually just spray it straight onto a cotton pad or straight onto my face and then wipe. Today I'll spray it on my cotton pad and I'll do one side of the face at a time and I've probably forgotten my ears so let's just focus on the eyes for now. So we're going to do the body shop side first. It's not too bad, to be honest with you. Like, I expected worse because yesterday it was horrendous. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's still a little bit of product there. Spray the other side and I'll do the, sort of the head and the rest of the area, so. All right. Definitely product there, okay? Um, thought I pretty rubbed it pretty well. Um, I'm not going over my ears, guys, because I know I didn't wash that part and I know I do have product there, that's why I'm sticking to the face. But yeah, so, all right. All right, just to be fair, this side just on the eyes and the eyebrow. This is the simple oil side. So, it's pretty clean. Now the rest of the face, minus the ears. Right, maybe just the faintest. But um, I wish that I recorded this the other day, guys, because the difference was night and day. Like. I literally had black underneath my eyes. I could not get it off. Um, I would have had to have taken to a face washer. Like I said, I'm not saying that this product isn't great, guys. It can be. Um, definitely if you use a face washer. I mean, I, I mean, if I use a face washer to take my makeup off anyway, I can almost use anything to take my makeup off. So, um, for me, this, I don't know, the price just doesn't... If it was probably, look, if it was the $10 mark or even cheaper, just like the oil, then yeah, hmm, yeah, but it's not. It's $25 for less product and for me, it does a shittier job than the simple oil. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know if the simple company's ever going to watch this, but can you turn your oil into a uh, balm? Because that would be great, because then it wouldn't pour down my arms and, you know... Yeah, maybe I might have to email you guys, because I like this. I just wish that this was in a balm, kind of like what they've done here. <laughs> this is a great concept, love it, but um, I just don't think that this is good as this. So, yeah, my clear winner is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind of Skin Hydrating Cleansing Oil. And, um, yeah, I definitely will use this, but I won't repurchase this, unfortunately, so... Smells so good too, I am devastated, but anyway guys, look, if you like what you saw today, feel free, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel and you want to join, uh, feel free, hit that subscribe button, but please don't forget to check the bell, otherwise you won't get notified of all of my videos. I'd love to have you. Um, I do quite a few videos, I wasn't planning on doing this one, um, but last night after I used this guy and it seriously disappointed me after the money that I spent on it, I'm like... Yeah, nah, I have to do a video on this. And I'm sorry, Body Shop. I, I love a lot of your products. I'm not um, I'm not really shitting on you. I, I still have some masks that I want to play around with. I think your products are great. I love the support that you guys give overseas. Um, and guys, you know, you should check out the Body Shop because they do have some fantastic stuff. And also, in saying that, this product might work really, really well for you. But for me, it just it just didn't cut it. I mean, not in comparison to this, and this is cheaper, so I'm definitely going drugstore over, I guess, a little bit more bougie, if you can call it bougie. Um, but look, it's nice, it's pretty, it smells good. Uh, it's just not my thing. So um, if you guys want to check me out on all my other socials, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, obviously YouTube, Twitter... Um, I have a blog as well, but that's not really anything to do with anything that, on my channel. That's just my personal sort of vlog. 
Um, but most of the time I'm on Instagram or YouTube. So um, have you tried that product? Let me know down below. I'd love to have a chat with you guys. I love chatting with you guys. I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, or even if you have any other sort of... Uh, advice on how to use this product or even just other suggestions on products that you've tried that you absolutely love because I'd love to try it too and um, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys let me know if this is the content that you want to see and I hope to see you in my other videos so um, thanks very much guys bye